so is there anything we've we've sort of had a bit of a conversation haven't we but is there anything this week you don't have to shout out loud because you're all muted but so it wouldn't work but is there anything this week that you have to do that you're not looking forward to I'm going to think about that for a minute. And, you know, the, the sort of thing that if you had a, a choice, oh, well, you choose not to do it. You know, you choose to do anything but whether that's, I don't know, maybe um, a trip to the doctors or the hospital, you know, that you just don't really want to go to. Um, one for me that we've talked about before is going to the dentist. Um, dentists are lovely people. Obviously, we have to say that. Um but I don't enjoy going to the dentist. I don't like the I don't like the pain in my mouth and the pain in my pocket. And I've gotten a I do have to go, I think at the end of November for some more treatment. So I'm not looking forward. And if I had a choice, no, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go. Maybe, maybe it's work, you know, school's back and I have to go back to school and I'd really like doing it, but sometimes, you know, I just want that lie in. Just want a little bit of time where um we can just have a break and if i had the choice then then yeah i wouldn't do it maybe maybe it's a a, i don't know an awkward conversation that you need to have with with someone and as i was thinking about these uh these things that we don't like to do i decided to google it and i've come up or not i've come up but i discovered the the top 10 things or top 20 i'm not going to do 20 top 20 things that need that people put off doing because they don't like it they just put it off and some of them are the ones i describe so i'm quite happy with that but the number one thing that people put off is fixing items around the house it's like oh okay that's yeah oh, okay my wife's nodding that's bad but yeah yeah put that oh or another one that i we have had this conversation people put off cleaning the oven I don't know how about you, but whether you, yeah, um, I do put off cleaning the oven, but actually I quite like cleaning the oven. Well, I like it when it's done anyway, if not the doing. Um, so yeah, some of the other ones oh, losing weight. Yeah. If I could put that off, I would, um, cutting the grass, people put off cutting the grass apparently, or, uh, writing or changing a will. Yeah. That's a bit morbid, but yeah, people put that off. If they could do anything else, they would. Oh, here's one for Tim. One of the number 16 on the list is people put off updating antivirus software on their computers. Yeah. Okay. I, I can understand that. And then the, the last one in my list, or the last one I'm going to tell you about the last thing that people put off doing is changing a light bulb. How, how long do we leave that light bulb out, um, and not do it? <coughs> so, <coughs> So there's a whole list of things that people don't like doing. And so they put them off for whatever reason. And it's quite a long list. And there's probably things that you're thinking, well, no, that doesn't, that doesn't respond to me, but for other things, it's like, well, yeah, I can understand not wanting to do those sort of things. So you're going through one of those days and you're, you're thinking of all the things that you don't want to do for whatever reason. And, um, you start reading your Bible and what should you read? How about something like Philippians 4.13 that says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And you listen to that, you read that, and you think, uh, I'm going to have to go to the dentist. You know, I'm going to have to do all those things because it tells me in the Bible that I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And you think, yeah, okay, that's an encouragement. I can do it. And yet, actually... I think that that's I'm not saying it's the most, but one of the most misused verses of all time. Why is that? Well, people tend to apply it to all the wrong things in all the wrong contexts because we we fail to understand what it means in the context. We spoke about context didn't we win in uh, on Zoom yesterday about how how we should look at the context of the verse. So we misunderstand what Paul is saying there because we're not we because we yeah we're reading it out of context you know so the intention of this verse was not so you could say i can do all things who strengthens through him who strengthens me so i can win the lottery doesn't mean that does it it doesn't mean that and when we and when we look at that verse 
yeah as a whole but look at the passage where it's it is we realize that that actually around that verse paul is paul is really praising praising god for the support that the the, the philippian church is is giving to him and has given to him when he's struggling and then he goes on to say that that he actually has experienced what it's like to to have plenty and actually he also knows what it's like to have very little there in verse 12 and through that process he has learned that, that god would give him the strength to do all things well actually not all things but to give him the strength to pursue god's will for his life And that's the important distinction, isn't it? Because actually, if you were just to read this verse, you could apply it to virtually anything you want to accomplish. But if you read it in the context of where it is, we recognize that, that what Paul means is that we can accomplish God's will, no matter the circumstances, because God will give us the, the strength to do what he's calling us to do. And that's an important difference, isn't it? I can do all things. I can do God's will because he gives me the strength to do his will. Not, not I can do all things like win the lottery, um, run a four minute mile, even at my age. No, it's not all things like that, is it? It's all things according to his will. And actually, when you read it like that in its context, it's it actually is encouraging. It's encouraging to know that that God will not ask us to do anything without giving us the strength to do it. And that is encouraging. To remember that he, he is with us and actually he will strengthen us to accomplish his will. So by all means, enjoy enjoy philippians 4 13 but remember the context that it's in and and use that and and be encouraged by that that god gives us the strength to do his will and not our will let me pray and then i'll have to work out how to unmute let's pray heavenly father we thank you for this time together lord we thank you that you are with us and you've promised to be with us and lord you know that we struggle with things some of them seem perhaps small things especially to others but to us perhaps they're they're big things that worry us but we thank you lord that when you call us and when you want us to do your will then you strengthen us you really do strengthen us and give us the the ability the knowledge whatever it takes to to carry out your will so we thank you for for that promise we thank you for the blessing it is to know that when we're we're working and living for you, that you are with us and you're helping us. We do pray for this coming week and all the things that we do have to do, Lord, some of them perhaps unfavorable. And so, Lord, we pray that you will help us to uh, to work through those things and to, to get done what needs to be done. But we do thank you for all your blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen.